Hello there Dommy and welcome back to another video and as you can tell by the title this probably isn't the video you be with, you thought you were going to be seeing today because as I said yesterday when I did, did my season review video that today I'd be putting up the reaction to the SBFL 2019-20 fixtures for Aberdeen but well that's not the case you're going to be getting that video tomorrow instead because as you can tell by the title Aberdeen have made another summer signing and as they made a couple of days ago they said Craig Bryson from Derby and that was, I think that was part of the shitty deal. I didn't actually make a video on that one, but um, yeah, um, I think it, that had did, did have something to do with the shitty deal and maybe the fact that we might not get Max Lowe back and alone. So yeah, I think Craig Bryson, he was apparently McInnes' top summer target and he got his man and that's a good shitty replacement there. So I think that was a, it was a good signing to get Craig Bryson there because he's an experienced player and it would help Lewis Ferguson out to have a good experienced player just to sit next to him and kind of help Lewis Ferguson build up and his development. And it was also it was also good because, you know, Lewis Ferguson can also teach Craig Bryson about the Scottish Premiership, so that's another plus there. So they can learn off each other. You know, Lewis Ferguson can learn like uh, Craig Bryson's experience and Lewis Ferguson can tell Craig Bryson and show him what the Scottish Premiership is like. So that was the signing of Craig Bryson a couple of days ago. And now we've heard more news today that Aberdeen have signed John Gallagher from Atlanta on a loan for the next season. And yeah, that was a bit of a strange one. You know, McInnes has surprised people this season because there wasn't any news about Ryan Hedges signing. There wasn't any news about Craig Bryson signing. And there wasn't any news about uh, John Gallagher signing today. There was a bit of news about Curtis Main in January. And there wasn't really any news about Ash Taylor. That was a bit of a shocker as well. So all of our summer signings this season have kind of gone under the radar. So yeah, I think this is a this is another one that's gone under the radar. And this kind of shows that Max Lowe won't be coming back because uh, John Gallagher is a left back. So he can't actually play left back or right back, but I'm pretty sure that McInnes will play left back because we've already got a right back in Shea Logan. So yeah, that's good for us. And I think he, he's got, he's quite a pacey left back. So, you know, Max Lowe had the pace. So this could be our Max Lowe, Lowe replacement. Will we? Will he be as good as him? That's still yet to be seen. But um, yeah, it's the thing that I think we need to really sign a left back because it's all like loading good left backs with potential for you know t for two or three seasons. But then at the end of the day, it should they 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 don't actually officially play for your club. You know they're from another club and they're just out on loan at you. And then you can't you don't want you you, you once you fully develop them development them. They, all, they just go back to their club, you know, that's what loan, what loan players are. You know, they're just sent out from their actual club to go to, I wouldn't say a lower, lower league club, because I think they're a better club than Atlanta, but a uh, club with a different league and develop develop their skills and then they come back and they probably won't play for your team again. And that's happened to Aberdeen too much. You know, we've built up a lot of loan players. You know, we built up Danny Ward, we built up James Madison, uh, we built up Max Lowe. And now obviously we're going to try and build up John Gallagher and hopefully he can have a good season at us. So yeah, it obviously is about the long term in the grand scheme of things. But right now focusing on it, it would be good for Derek McInnes to sign a permanent left back. But it doesn't look like he's done that. He's loaned out another left back. So I still think it's good business from McInnes. But soon I think he is going to have to sign a, a right back, a permanent, a, a permanent left back, sorry, should I say to play there and obviously Shane Logan's getting on as well so you know so he's he's gonna have to sign a new right back at some point and yeah the good thing with Aberdeen is apart from a few players with Devlin, Logan and McGinley they don't really have um Devlin so I can't stand should I say and then we don't really have a an aging squad really do we I think that um we've got it's quite a young team compared to other teams in the Scottish Premiership but I just I still think there's a few positions that we still need to sign especially in this summer but we have got a left back now I still think we could do with we could do with another winger and I think we could um, maybe do with another centre back and then maybe another midfielder as well and I think that should be us for the summer and hopefully that can carry us on to try and do the best we possibly can next year 
So, yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think of this John Gallagher signing. Gone under the radar a lot, completely didn't expect it. You know, the SBFL reaction will have to go up tomorrow now because I wasn't expecting to get this tra this transfer news, so I had to make a video on it. So, yeah, like the video if, you, if you're if you new to Aberdeen Fan TV, subscribe as well. And as I said, let me know down in the comments what you think of the two signings, Craig Bryson and John Gallagher, and do you think they will push us on to do well next year? Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you tomorrow in the SBFL reaction to the fixtures show. Okay, goodbye.